Now get a favourite colour. I'm going to get red. And what I want you to do is I want you to put one. I'm going to draw some dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to put, just put some dots so you can see only on the outside. Only on the outside like that. Just in the colour so you can... How many dots is there? Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 dots. When you want to draw this labyrinth at home, all you need is, is just the dots. But right now, just so you can get confident, I just want you to do it freehand, no rule. I just want you to go cross, across, and then what the L for Lara. I want the four L's in there done. Then you're finished. Then we can draw labyrinth. Do this really neatly. And because the challenge is drawing the curves now. So what we've done now, keep drawing the L's. So we, we have to start off with straight lines because all we're going to do now for 20 minutes is nice curved lines. We're going to do beautiful rainbow curves but for some reason we need the male geometry. This is very male, masculine, straight lines and we're going to do nothing but beautiful curved female lines now. So we need the male and the female. One instruction, the instruction is you start from, what do you call that top point? Zen zenith so we're going to start from the top and every curve that i do now when i say curve i actually want what's a half who knows what half a circle is this distant this thing semi circle remember the first lesson we did the very first lesson we did we did semi circles and to very good and we're finishing with semi circles so we started with the circle and we're coming back to semi circles so if you can possibly draw half a circle, watch this. So this is everyone watching. Everyone watch you watching Faith. So we start from the top and I draw a little semicircle. I go to, what's that side called? The right or the left? So the rule is I start from the top and I go to the right. I did it, oops, that was a bit tall. That was a silly one. So we start from the top and all I do is a semicircle. There's one circle. Now, I, I have to get to this dot here, but the rule is I go back to my left here. I go back to my left, but I've got to go to the right. I go back to the left, and I, it's like a rainbow. I'm going to draw a rainbow that goes around it, but look at this. I've got to come into the cross. So who's going to let me see? Who hasn't done something for a while? Who would like? You look very interesting. Come, come through. Now, the we're going to repeat the instructions and you're going to get turns to do it on the board. So you start, you keep going back to the last bit of the cross and you go, but I don't want you to go way up there. You have to keep the distance the same. So just go around and come back into there and we keep going from the left and we arc to the right from the left. So you watch how he does it. He goes around, everyone watch him and he flows into the cross. So what does he do now? What do you think you do next? Keep going. So you always start from the left and arc, do a rainbow bridge. All, look how perfect, nice curves. And he's flowing into the L. Oh, now watch what happens because this is the critical bit. Keep doing it. Watch what he's doing. This is the critical bit. He's got a, two more lines. It's looking a bit like a brain. It's a lollipop. Look, he's got two more lines. Watch this. This is you've got to get the ending right. Can you see where to go? This is where you've got to use a bit of your brain. Like, okay, I've got a dot and a line. I'm going to start from the dot and do your full swing, beautiful rainbow. It's like Tai Chi. You don't stop. Keep going. Really beautiful curve. He's doing a dance. And where does it flow into? Up, 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 up. And just rub that out a little bit and make it a beautiful f curve. Mike. So as you flow into the cross, it has to curve in. Now, can you see that there's two more lines left? Can you just step back and show him what you've done? There's, he's almost finished. He's got one more line. Can you see that he's going to start here? He goes right around, equal, whatever this size. He goes all the way around and he comes back to the bottom bit. So can you do your, most, your best curve? Yeah, but in a beautiful, yet yeah, from the bottom... Not, not, not that one. You always start on the most extreme left, that's it, and go around. And on your tippy toes, no. Bit of a mountain, that's cool. 
and that's the last one. Look where it goes. Now put the lid on there, and before we start drawing, just step over and have a look at what you've just step over and have a look at what you've created. So when you've created the seven circuit labyrinth, look at this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven layers to this brain. Can you see that if, if you had to walk, let's say you're walking, right? I'm just walking along. Oh my God, what's this? There's something, there's a doorway. There's only one opening. Can you see that you're walking along here and can you see that at one, oh my God, there's something there and you're going to start, like, not now, but maybe in another colour, you're going to follow the labyrinth and you don't know where you're going to end up and when you get to a point where you don't know where you, you get to a wall and you can't go anywhere, you're going to sit down and just meditate or have an apple or do a dance or sing a song. But there's one spot I want you to put a little star or a little flower to say, I'm sitting down for, I've been a long walk and, and you're going to go all this crazy thing and you're going to mark, mark a spot. I won't tell you where the spot is because that's what the lesson is. You're going to end up somewhere and it's a very sweet spot. We call it sacred, but I'm going to call it a sweet spot where you're just going to sit and meditate and do something. So who would like to come up and do one on the board before we do it on the sheet? Um, what's your name again? Mika. Come, come here. Thank you for that. Can I rub this out? Now, did everyone get that? This is my favourite, one of my favourite lessons. And I can't believe that you guys can actually do this. I, I'll leave the cross. So to do this, all you need, will we do it in red again? So all we need was a cross that fits in a square. You need your four corners, their important corners. And what else do we need? What else do we need? Not the dots, L's. We need Lara's down here, look. Lots of L's. They're all at weird angles. Oops, and... So I'm not going to say a word now. I'm just, I'm not even going to say, I'm just going to get a chair and sit down. Do you know what to do if I didn't tell you where to start? What, do you know what to do? If I said create your labyrinth now, you've got enough information. I'll just give you one clue. Where do you start? Okay, just watch her so you know what to do because you only get one chance on your worksheet. That's it. I'll sit here then. She's good, isn't she? Oh, look, beautiful curves. So your challenge is how beautiful can you make your curves? Oh my God, that's perfect. Mm. I can't even do it that good. It's unbelievable. How does she do that? Beautiful, awesome. very good, very good. Okay. So does, does everyone feel confident? Oh, uh, we turn to the last page. So we turn to the actual worksheet and into it with dots. Oh, you did it. Oh, you've already done it. Where did you end up? Okay, so you've... Okay, before you show everyone, who'd, who's done it over here? Who hasn't been to the board? Amala, would you like to come and get a colour? And I want you to maybe dots or do something and walk into the labyrinth. She's walking along by the creek, she was just walking along. Oh, what's that? And she saw this little door. And she thought, geez, I'm really curious. I won't, I won't go too long because my mum doesn't know I'm walking down there. But I'm just, oh, do you need a little something to stand on? I'll grab one of these cushions or maybe two blocks. There's two purple blocks, yoga blocks in my Lord. Can, do you want to stand on this? Do you want to stand on that? Okay. Whoa. So it's a bit of a walk. You could probably take a little while. And you did it really well. Let me see. Yes. Oh. She's, she's needs um, something happened once. Oh. She, last one something didn't, happened. Didn't no, she needs two lines down here. So let me start check. Yes, this last one didn't, didn't, didn't keep going. Oh. I get it. Just that one. So now she's, I see, is that what it was? Yeah. Good. Oh, she's nearly to the entrance. Um, it's called the sanctum. Wherever, wherever she's going, she doesn't even know where she's going, but it's called the san inner sanctum, maybe. Um, 
And then she's just going to stop and have a rest, but she's still got more to do. And you can draw this in your backyard if you had lots of stones, if you had lots and lots of pebbles or stones, you could, oh, draw a nice big something there, that's it, big one. Beautiful, okay. And obviously, to, when, when you get up and walk out again, you're obviously you're going to retrace. The thing about the labyrinth is that it forces you to, to get back out to where you started from. You have to retrace the steps that brought you in there. It's like you have to rethink or go an octave higher. Beautiful. So this is very rich and symbolic. It has a lot of meaning. This, and people have drawn these labyrinths for thousands of years. If you, for parents, if you go on the internet and just Google labyrinth, you're going to see the most incredible like designs. It's a mathematical geometrical gem and it's beautiful and and yes and you all ended up in the middle there right? Very good and have it just sit there for a little while because you've got to get out of there. You've got to get out of it now. You just got into it but how are you going to get out? You can just sleep there. You can just camp there for the night. That's right, you, the, that's the symbolism, you, we've got to trace back over our steps and rethink about our life. You walk in, sometimes when you walk into a labyrinth, let's say I've got problems, as I need to think about things, so sometimes to think about things, I'll just start walking the labyrinth and you go mindless, you're not even thinking about, because you've got problems and you don't know what to do, you walk into the labyrinth with, with no mind, right? You have no mind and then when you get to the middle, you can see that there is no problem and you healed it, you worked it out. It looks, it looks like the brain and the brain represents all our thinking and stuff but then when we walk into the middle it's about connecting with your heart. So this is very rich in symbolism, I didn't even know it meant that. It's the heart, the brain and the heart connection.